Hi there, I'm Stuart Saw, and I'm here with the guys from Splash Damage to get the dirt on Dirty Bomb. Talk to us about how Dirty Bomb ties in with the actual story of the game. Well, it's set in the near future London, and uh, basically some sort of unknown terrorists have set off several dirty bombs around the city. As London has been locked down, there's obviously lots of stuff that people want within London that they've left behind, whether it's data for bank account details, whether it's precious artifacts. So, Steve, I'm playing as a mercenary or a, a merc. Is that a class? Is that a champion? What is it? We looked at uh, our previous games, and we realised that we could actually take inspiration from MOBAs to and make distinct characters out of our classes, to the point now where we don't even refer to them as classes anymore. It's a big shift. It might seem like a small one, but internally, when you start using some, you know, mercenary's name rather than the classes like we were doing before, it changes your mindset. You can really look for that synergy between one particular Merc and another one. The game's going to change every time a new Merc comes in, mm -hmm. and there's going to be different strategies and different counter strategies to the new Mercs that's coming. So yeah, it makes the game very different all the time. It's going to keep it fresh. How do you keep uh, Stopwatch and the objective of the game, you know, on track? Our main game mode is an attack versus defense scenario. One team is basically trying to complete a mission, a series of objectives, and set a time, do it the quickest time they can possible and the teams swap over, the attackers become the defenders, the defenders' attackers, and they try and beat that time. Mission accomplished. Nice work. Great games can be undone by poor map design. How do you go about making uh, a good map? For the maps, I think the most important thing is, is understanding what the win-loss ratio for a map is, and then designing changes around that. With heat maps, we can see where the contention of kills are. We can see, like, if a sniper's got, like, a massive advantage on a particular map because we've got a long view, we can put cover down to sort of reduce the effectiveness of the snipers. There's little things like that. So, Ryan, as a developer, you've got uh, all of the data, you've got the forums, and you've got these crazy guys. How do you bring that into one direction? It's definitely a challenge. I'd like to describe it as uh, herding cats on ice skates with catnip being thrown into the mix on a daily basis. <laughs> So if we look back at the game like a year ago, it's completely different now from how it is. Yeah, that's, that's the great thing about the free-to-play, right, is that the game is going to launch and it's just going to keep going. We can keep, like, fixing things if they break, we can keep improving things and adding stuff into the mix. <laughs> Thanks to the guys from Splash Damage. That's been The Dirt on Dirty Bomb.